Hello, people. I am Jabby Coy. Joining us is Achara Kirk. Hi. We're going to look at Oats Studios Volume 1 Firebase. This is the follow up video to Oats Studios Volume 1 Raka. <laughs> So uh, I contacted Oat Studios. They gave us permission to do these reactions very generously. Thank you so much to Oat Studios for allowing us to do this. In case you guys don't know, Oat Studios belongs to Neil Blomkamp. He's the director of District 9 and Elysium, two really, really well-produced movies. And Chappie. District 9 is one of my favorite movies, just to yeah, put that out there. It's a really good film. So without further ado, here we go. The following content may not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, after watching the first one, I <laughs> definitely Surprise agree. There was I'm surprised there was no warning on the first one. I think there was, wasn't there? I don't know. No, I don't remember. The world is not our permanent home. They're looking forward to a home yet to come. Mm, yeah. Well. Oh. Uh. Mask Rose. Ah, I thought it was Vietnam. I was like, oh, those names look Vietnamese. Oh, God. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't stick your... Don't stick your... No. Don't touch it. Did it say 1969? Yeah. Oh, so this is an alternate history. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if this is related at all. If they're two different stories. Is that a spine? I would not be touching that with my bare hands. I'm sorry. What? Is that it's like a helicopter. alien spaceship? No, it's people! This almost reminds me of Resistance, The Fall of Man. Okay. It's, a, it's a video game. Okay. Yeah, alternate history. Oh no! Oh no! Whew. God damn! Fire in the hole. 
Dude, you gotta cover your ears. Explosion right next <laughs> like, to you. Like it was nothing. He's not dead. I told you. Oh God, no. What do you say to him? I don't know. You're you're not the one I'm looking for. Right. That's what I heard. If that's CGI with the helicopters, that's really, really good CGI. Sergeant Hines, when you wanted off, your unit thought you had deserted. Wanted you court-martial. You're still drawn to it. You have to kill it, yeah? Too late, though. River God did this three days ago. Get some men up here to clean this up. Come on, let's head out. I have something to show you. Responsible for throwing away a cigarette like that in the jungle. That. You ever heard of Firebase Quattro? Outside paid in on the border of Cambodia. They set up Quattro as a base for tracking the river god. You know who he is? I need you to do something for me, honey. Now the river god was a Vietnamese farmer. If we keep the survivors of his attacks in Quattro in the field hospital, there's someone there I want you to meet. Kid, Nate Bracken. He's the only survivor of the river god if it's still caught. I'm assuming the river god is an alien. Maybe. Or something else. Creighton's Clearwater Revival's playing. Jake Palmer. Yeah, Major Brickerson. Jake's told me he might be able to shed some some things for us. We got our asses whipped by a VC ambush. We wait for reinforcements. When those soldiers came, they were, uh... They were monsters in the shape of men. Uh, they wouldn't die, not by shooting them. So we retreated to Firebase Tar Heel, or we tried to, but Tar Heel is gone. It's just fucking gone. That's when I called an airstrike. We lit that jungle on fire. And we burnt everything. Running. No pain. If his 
possible. Except for the napalm, just sticking to him. Something I'll never be able to explain. This doesn't make sense. Look, I'm not here to connect the dots for you. The events at Tar Heel are classified. I got men in this unit I trust. Men I know men I shit blood with. And they're saying things happen to them that they can't explain. My boys are saying they saw the devil. The devil. Yes. I want your men to help us kill the devil. I think the CIA better start to explain what the fuck is going on here or you're gonna have a mutiny on your hands. I wonder if this is supposed to be an alternate history or like something that happened that just never made it over. I think it's the latter. I think it's about, we'll talk about it in the discussion, I yeah. guess, yeah. Please state your name. Bracken. Corporal Richard Bracken, sir. All right. Please recount the events at Firebase Tar Heel. How did you get burned? What happened? Ugh. Ugh. God damn. They started weird. There was some, uh, something along the riverbank. Seals have found it. Yuck. Oh, God. It all came down for us to get some intel on it. The camera guys in the air cab were sent with us. We saw it. It was, uh... I don't know what it was. What happened to Firebase Tar Heel, Corporal? We were shooting everywhere. jungle looking at that thing the next I'm in South Carolina back on the day we we're gonna deploy I don't mean like a dream or nothing I mean I was in America and the planes they were all destroyed and we were under attack Russian aircraft. I'm like mad or nothing. Holy shit. Flame, napalm. And everyone was burning. They were burning us. Soldiers burning. Like hell. Did that happen at Charleston Air Base? 
Are they all dead? Charleston's safe. No, but it did happen. It did. Because then, uh... Freddy and the boys. They pulled me out of the ditch. I was still on fire. Here. Yeah. Here. In the jungle. I was like... Here again, but on fire. Like they pulled me out of South Carolina into Vietnam. Buddies were along the riverbank. He's raising the dead up like ghosts. He's making their uh, their insides like hard. if anyone else had seen there the god no one else had thank you sergeant bracken well corporal bracken will be flown back to the states enrolled in mk search and his name will be stricken off the rolls here will officially be mia along with the 318 other americans lost at tar Hill. as of this moment Firebase Tar Heel never existed. Get some rest. We head out in a few hours. Yeah, I don't sleep anymore. Try. Fire God, right? I'm sorry. I got to sync that up. <laughs> You're doing it. All these men, they're gonna die tonight. You know that, right? I'm not sure you care if these soldiers live or die. Uh, you don't even care if you live or die. Maybe that's how it works. are you? What are you becoming? These details are slipping away from you, aren't they? 
I can help. Because I have these dreams. More like visions. It's trying to tell me something. I can't understand what it's saying. It just sounds like noise. to soldiers in your previous unit. I've heard all the accounts about you. Hines isn't meant to die. Hines is protected by a divine hand. Objects were put in your path to shield you. Put there to protect you at exactly the right moment. To shield you from the right piece of shrapnel. It's almost as if life itself knew you were coming. The universe keeping you alive. Saving you as though it has a plan for you. the river god that man you're compelled to hunt he is an error a mistake plain and simple life wants him gone but what is he a simple villager he had no connection to the Viet Cong He had a wife. He had children. He was pushed by grief to the point where the very fabric tore around him. villagers who knew him they began calling him the river god he wandered the mekong leaving a wake of destruction i don't even think he knows he's doing these things these horrors manifesting reality through his subconscious thoughts changing matter inside the dead reanimating them as visions of his own hell Eventually, we wandered into an NBA base, begging for help. By that point, his flesh had entirely burned off. Visibility. Telepathy. As a god walking the earth, his mind is set free. We will set the jungle on fire, burn everything until flaming gel splatters across him, lighting him up for us to track. We will find him. This is the electromagnetic coil gun. It's firing projectiles at about 120 at the speed of light. Now this, this is the real jewel. It creates a magnetosphere, positive, negative polarity. Everything about this is designed to keep reality unbroken so you can function. You will be protected from the breakdown in space time. Call it a relativity capsule. It amplifies the gift you already have. Put on the horn, my God. It's 
you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. It's a good setup, though. Yeah. To support our Oats, to support Oats Studios, go to our website or our Steam page link in the description below. We'll put that in our description as well. Wow. So that's another one directed by Neil Blomkamp. That was another uh, equally intense film. I think that I enjoyed this one more. I mean, it could be either or. Like, it could be alternate history or it could be a secret history that was kept under wraps by the government. Either one of those. Yeah. Is super interesting to me, like, as ideas. That was one of the things I really enjoyed about Resistance, The Fall of Man. It, that's like a trilogy of video games for PlayStation 3, or it may even be on PlayStation 4 now. It was made by Insomniac Games, if you guys are interested in checking it out. But uh, that's more like World War One, World War Two. So this is the first thing I've seen of Vietnam that's alternate history or secret history, and I think it's really cool. This was a little bit easier to follow because it was just like one guy, and you were kind of seeing things from his perspective. Uh, easier to follow than Raqqa, I should, just to be clear. Man, I mean, it was really gruesome. Vietnam was one of the most gruesome yeah. wars in the last hundred years or so, and it's just like really gross, just with the napalm and all that yeah. stuff. Like it, it was insane, and so to take that as a as a backdrop for some kind of alien human war. It's really interesting. I just couldn't tell, again, like, what is the message here? What are you trying to say? Is it just entertainment, or is there something deeper here that you want us to get? Yeah. And that's what I was having a hard time with. It wasn't as clear to me on this one, or at least I didn't find another message right. in this one like I did in Raqqa. For me, it seems like more of a secret history than an alternate history. Okay. I think that's really clever because they're using all the things that actually happened mm. in the Vietnam War and yeah. then creating this other thing that happened right. that's been hidden from us. Just kind of focusing on the atrocity of that war, but using that to disguise this other alien right. or weird paranormal thing that's going on. Vietnam War is where America got its ass handed to them. Well, yeah. It was bad. To add this possibility that the reason why it was so bad and so ugly and so something people don't want to talk about is because there was some kind of alien infestation in this area is just super neat. It's just a concept I think that's really cool. The sequences, like the action sequences, felt very real. Very scary looking. It was very haunting imagery embedded in this. When the, the guy who was a burn victim was recounting his incident where he, he saw the like, I don't know, it was like body parts floating. I was just like, mm -hmm. It's like, it doesn't get old. I'm waiting for it to just kind of pass over me like, okay, well that's normal now. Hasn't gotten normal yet. It still feels uncomfortable every time because of the way they kind of sneak it in there. I don't know if it's done like that deliberately or if it's because of budget constraints, but either way, the way it's kind of dished out to you is just enough to just make you go, Ugh. <laughs> The thing that uh, it sort of reminded me of when the burn victim was talking about his encounter, it almost reminded me of a Tom Cruise film, uh, Edge of Tomorrow. I thought that there was something there that was hinted at where, it, it might just be me projecting, I thought there was something hinted at where the aliens were kind of, and it wasn't, it seemed like it wasn't even an alien, but a... No, like a, a guy who was just so consumed by grief that he yeah. then developed... Some kind of superpower. Yeah, psychological... Or Right. Warfare, I don't know. So, Logical superpower. I thought there was some sort of connection to Raqqa in some way, but this mm. is I think this is trying to set itself apart completely. Yeah. In that this is more magical rather than, than uh, sci-fi aliens stuff. But nevertheless, w this devil person, I thought that what happened was he was reading like the minds of these humans and kind of going back in time or something or I don't know, like he he had a vision for what he was gonna do to lay massive destruction to America. I don't know if he was gonna give Russians a new technology, because those planes flying up and landing the way they yeah, did. Yeah, they looked like rockets. That's obviously technology that didn't exist back then. It still doesn't exist now. And so that was really interesting, the way that was done. I mean, it was gross, <laughs> but it was fascinating to watch. I think the, the way that the character of the River God came about his powers was interesting as well, because it also reminds us of the atrocities that happened during the war. Not only were 
they killing Viet Cong, but they were killing civilians as well. And he was just a regular dude right. who lost his family. You know, can't forget that. The worst that would come of this is that to the you know passerby, you know your most casual viewer who is not familiar with history, it would refamiliarize you with history. I remember seeing tweets go out from kids who didn't even realize that Titanic was a real thing. Oh. Like they thought that the movie was just a movie, and they are like, oh. Oh, this is based on some real true story? I don't know if they're integrating any footage at all from the real war. It seems like they are here and there and maybe doctoring it up a little bit to make it more uh, fit with the film here. Mm -hmm. I can't tell for sure. It's an interesting way to reintroduce this history to our minds, especially the younger generation who may not know anything about this. That's another you know angle I didn't even consider. Overall, I really enjoyed this. I thought that the acting was great. Everyone felt very real and it felt like almost like watching a documentary as opposed to a movie or a story because of the way it was handled it didn't feel like a narrative. It felt like just these events kind of unfolding, like reading it in an article or, or a history book or something like that. It was pretty intense. They definitely cast some really good actors, and in this one, they didn't really have name actors, I think, like in no. Raka, but everyone did a fantastic job. So you guys, check out Oat Studios' YouTube channel. They got trailers as well, I believe, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, video game-related videos. I'm Javi Koi. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.